Hi, Andrew Chris is here with Audio Bro. A lot of people like to use key switching when choosing their different patches in their orchestral template. And with LA Scoring Strings 2, we've decided to include a very powerful key switch component to our ARC, the Audio Bro Remote Control. Uh, we're going to have two videos. This one's going to be covering the basic patch uh, key switching, and then we're going to have another one that will show you how to key switch between instrument banks. What we'll do is we'll take some very standard run of the mill patches that we have here. Um, I've loaded um, uh, violins B, legato, tremolos, trills, and actually let's collapse them like this so we can get a, a better read. Trills, spiccato, staccato, and pizzicato. So let's just take these basic patches, and this, this is just a quick start to show you how to load these into a, a key switch setup, the simplest form of a key switch. So uh, let's open up the arc. So we go up here, we click on the script tab, and we open up a default arc and you'll see the, the home page of the the arc and the uh, first thing we want to do always if, if possible is click on the setup the setup is where you can name all your patches and, uh, and the reason for this is because currently contact does not allow bi-directional communication from the patches to the multi-script uh, but the multi-script can communicate with the patches so what we do is we tell the multi-script what patches are loaded and the multiscript does the rest. So what we can do here is we take violins B, we just say, okay, well, these are actually all violins B. So let's just go like this, violins one. So these are all MIDI channels that I'm clicking on right here. So I'm just gonna try to duplicate the setup I have there. So we have six instruments, the violins one, and they're all Bs. So let's just get, get these Bs, another B, another B. I think you see the pattern here. Um, and then we have, okay, so legato, that's the first one. Okay. The second one is a legato tremolo. So tremolos, so trems, and then trills, and then spiccatos, and then staccatos. And then we have pizzicatos. Okay. So now we've, um, we have our setup here. Now that's done. You only have to do this once when you're setting up your template. And the great thing about it is now when you go into any other page and the arc, the arc will know exactly what patches are loaded in down here. So if we go to our key switch page, you'll see it says the key switch is currently off. That's because we haven't set a input channel. Um, I advise people to put select input channel from a MIDI channel 16. Uh, that lets you populate all these patches from one through 15, and you can use a single track MIDI channel 16 to play all of these patches and key switch all of them, or you can play them individually on their own separate tracks in your DAW. So this is the best of both worlds. You can actually play MIDI channel one, two, three, four, five through through 15, or you can play on MIDI channel 16 and have access to all of these patches and key switch between them. So let's do, let's set up the key switch. So we have, all of these are populated because of the way you set up the setup. So one, so that, the trems, the trills, the spiccatos, the staccatos. Oops, sorry about that. Just pressed on a note. And the pizzicato. So here we have all of these, and that's it. Actually, I'm gonna set up the key switch, the bottom note to be in the lower octave of the keyboard. So C0. So if I press this note, and I play some notes here. Now, the great thing about the great the great thing about this is if I if I play notes and I play uh, a mod wheel, when I key switch, all the mod feel and the CC information, all the dynamics and all the other information gets translated to the other patches. So right now, I just play the C zero, which is uh, this note right here. And we have the violins playing. Um, we, I have I played that key switch, so we have the violins playing that those notes. And if I key switch to the trems, and if I go very soft. Loud. So, and that's how you do it. And then you, so you go between them all in one MIDI channel 16. Um, now, 
Uh, what's important to know is that when you play these things, these, when you play the key switches, all of these CC throughs get sent to the next patch. So this is a great way to have all your articulations available either to be played on your single MIDI tracks, or you can choose one kind of master track, master what key switch input channel, and that will key switch between all of these patches. So you can do, uh, so really best of both worlds. In the other video, I'll show you how to set up instrument banks. And you can have instrument banks, you can have on one instrument bank uh, up to 32 key switches, and then you can have up to 16 instrument banks per contact bank. So it's really very powerful what you can do with the key switcher. And uh, those people who like key switching, I think will get a lot of mileage out of this. All right, I hope this helped and stay tuned for uh, more advanced videos on key switching. Thanks. Take care.